I've had a real passion for philanthropy and community service for a long time. And my wife and I, we were getting requests to support the arts and requests to support education and requests to support uh, different charities around the city, uh, both financially as well as with our time. And we made a decision that we, we needed to figure out some ways to filter that. And what we came up with was kind of this screen, if you will, around the things that are important to us. And so I took out a piece of paper and wrote down the things that were important to me, and she took out a piece of paper and wrote down the things that were important to her. And we were pleasantly surprised that there was a really direct match and direct correlation. And we came up with what we call our four pillars, and they have to do with athletics, youth, education, and faith. And that's not necessarily in any order of priority, but it's those, those four pillars uh, are what help us organize and orient where we spend our time and our money. We can't possibly boil the ocean, right? We could, if we said yes to everything, I just don't think we can be as impactful as if we pick a few things and focus on, on those. For the last, really, 15 years, I've been able to participate in uh, a number of coaching activities, again, either in soccer or basketball or baseball. And there was one particular moment that really struck me. Uh, we were riding in a, in a car down to Oregon on a, on a road trip. There were 13 kids on our team, and we came to the conclusion during this road trip that of the 13 kids that were on our team, nine of them had never met their father. And so in that particular situation, it was obvious to me that these kids needed role models. They needed people who were stable and consistent. They know that, that I'm a voice of reason and that I'm a voice of honesty, uh, but I'm also a voice of consistency. And so I think it starts with passion. You have to be passionate and you have to be authentic. Uh, and then I think you have to be consistent. I've done this for a long time. And um, if, if you just kind of come and go and, and aren't, aren't there, they'll see through that as well. It goes back to my, my favorite biblical verses in you know, Luke 12, 48, to whom much is given, much is required. And I, I just, I feel strongly about the fact that if, if we're not open and available to where God wants us to go, we're sub-optimizing the talents that he's given.